Game reporter Stephanie Sierra joins us live now with these new developments, Stephanie. Yes, Ama and Dan, parents are scared and yeah. frustrated about the safety of their children in this area along East 15th Street. And tonight action is being taken and we're getting insight as to where these women are coming from and how they're being exploited. On this thread here is, do you have a church? It's a dark problem, not hiding, but exposed in plain sight. These videos show concerns of possible prostitution and human trafficking outside a K through eight grade school in East Oakland. As much as we parents try to avoid it, it's there it, and it's heartbreaking. Now the city of Oakland is committing to take further action. We understand a meeting is now in the works to discuss a new enforcement plan. Is that right? Yes. But I will state, you know, for the public, for the record, that, you know, we have a uh, greater cooperation from the FBI. Sources confirmed to the I team the FBI picked up a 13 year old girl along East 15th Street in Oakland just last week. There comes a girl right there. We drove with Councilman Noel Gallo through the area where he says up to 20 young women, often scantily dressed, walk along this street every day. He says sometimes even pimps are blocking the driveways. An area that's called the stroll or the walk. This is where the human trafficking, um, the transaction, the financial side of it, that's where the criminal activity is taking place. Agent in charge of the FBI's San Francisco division. He explains the problem has long plagued International Boulevard in East Oakland. But as Gallo pointed out, it's become more pervasive after recent construction moved the women into residential neighborhoods, oftentimes seen right across from St. Anthony's as children are walking into school. Rosa Vargas sees it as she drops off her five-year-old each day. The city needs to do more about it. Gallo says the Oakland Police Department will be enhancing patrols around the school and the FBI will be installing additional surveillance cameras. The two agencies uncovered operations in the area last week, where Gallo says many of the women were brought into the city specifically to East 15th Street. In the evenings, you'll see a van come up and unload the girls, and these are vans that are not from Oakland. Where are these women coming from? Well, you know, there, you know, one time that I was out on the street with uh, the police on a ride along, I saw the van pulled up and they had a license plates from Nevada. I saw what, five, six girls get out of the van. Gallo says the vans typically have out of state license plates. They arrive early in the morning and leave around eight in the evening. In the evening, I saw them all get back in the van and drive on and we followed them and got on the freeway and went on. Investigators say some of the suspected trafficking along East 15th Street may be gang related. How many degrees of separation are there between the trafficker and the victim and the individual in charge of the operation? Usually the trafficker and the person in charge are one and the same. Uh, because this crime depends so much on personal relationships, really between the abuser and the victim. The FBI says they're seeing more guns recovered in local trafficking operations and found pimps are using apps to track their victims' locations. Traffickers using tracking apps to keep track of their victims, especially in trafficking operations that take place out on the street. Now, we can confirm operations between OPD and the FBI will continue weekly. And just hours ago, we were told additional cameras are already being installed in really? this area. Okay. That's good action being taken. Mm -hmm. All right, Stephanie, thank you.